The first week of BC's election campaigning is coming to a close. Gary Mason says don't discount the two third place parties. Let's have a look, uh, Gary, at Green Party leader Jane Stirk. What is the momentum like going into this campaign for the Green Party? I think the momentum for the Greens is higher than it's ever been, Hannah. Uh, in British Columbia, the Greens have a history of, of sort of showing some life between elections and then come election time, that support collapses. I don't think it's going to happen this time. I think the Greens, especially in south, southern Vancouver Island, are going to be a force. I think the success that Elizabeth May has had is a large part of the Green story here. And uh, Jane Sturt is a good uh, debater, a good speaker. She's going to have a presence in this campaign that the Greens haven't had before. Well, the other third place party is John Cummins' is BC Conservatives. How are they faring? They could be a factor in some ridings. Up in Parksville, Qualicum, Dr. David Copeland is a very, very strong conservative candidate. He's going to be a handful for the, for the other parties up there, the two mainstream parties, particularly for the Liberals. They're running a star candidate of their own, Michelle Stilwell, a former Paralympian gold medalist. She's going to have a tough time with Copeland. He could siphon off a lot of her votes, allowing the NDP to take that riding. So that's one to watch here in British Columbia. And what about uh, the Liberals and the NDP? What do the NDP need to do to hang on to their lead in popularity? They got off to a pretty rocky start to begin this election when one of their candidates had to resign over some comments that she made on a blog posting a few years ago that were deemed to be racially insensitive. But since then, things have been kind of quiet. Adrian Dix is, is running a, a classic front runners campaign. It's very cautious. He's not saying a whole lot. Meantime, Liberal Premier Christy Clark is trying hard to steer the pot and create some momentum of her own by attacking the NDP every chance that she gets. But we've got a, a long way to go. And I think the two campaigns are just kind of settling in and trying to find a rhythm right now.